me get you. Ah, let me get you over here. Boop, beep. Oops. Lord. Beep, boop. Oh. That was a very ominous, creaky noise. I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. Okay, let's see. There we go. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Saturday Morning Duker. I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm just finishing off a half of this sandwich for myself real quick. <laughs> Sorry. Just got back from ballet. And I was like, I'm so hungry. I have to feed this, and I have to feed this. Egg and crust sandwich. Let me know if the volume on that is good. This is an epic sandwich. Ow! Delicioso. Magnifico. Splendido. Etc. <laughs> yeah, so let me let me huh? Not as graceful as I had hoped it was going to be, but you know. Has anybody told you that you look like Kristen Stewart? I have been told that before. I only see it when it looks like my hair is shorter. <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> my lovely mods were like, we get people in here all the time from YouTube who are like, holy shit, I didn't even know that you stream. So they were like, what if we set up a post to put on your YouTube? <laughs> I think one of the cats is trying to push in. What if we set up a post to put on your YouTube? Um that uh, basically just says, you know, hey, I, I stream now. <laughs> if you didn't realize, I'm a stream, I'm a streamy beamy now. And apparently you can put an image on it. So they just use the Duke burn picture, but like this, so it's absolutely horrifying. <laughs> It's very good. Watch and chill. Chill, please. Thank you. I kind of assumed when you stopped uploading. A lot of a lot of people come by here. I want to say every couple of days, and are like, "Holy shit! I didn't know where you went." So yeah, thank you, mods. There's more sandwich. <laughs> Somebody asked what's in this. It's egg and watercress. And I think that's it. Delicious, 
big fan. Don't you stream five days? I am on streams six days. But I guess, yeah, technically I stream, I only stream here five days. It's not that, um, it's not that I don't want to do Vlogmas because I don't want to edit it. It's because Vlogmas is meant to be vlogs of like life <laughs> leading up to Christmas, right? Or whatever you celebrate in the, the holiday season. And, um... Clark is like what I'm doing pretty much all of the time that I'm not streaming. So I don't want Clark to be content. So it creates a situation where it's like, how do I respect Clark's privacy? Um, and not have her be in vlogmas constantly but still do vlogmas it's like impossible then you get all the parenting backseaters well it's just like i mean we're starting to hear from kids whose parents ran like mommy blogs I'm going to be really interested to see how kids that were part of like family vlogs feel as adults. Um, but I get the feeling there's going to be a general vibe of like, I had no privacy, right? Um, and that's like the last thing that I want for Clark is for her to look back on her childhood and be like, <laughs> I was on camera all the time, you know? So. We're trying really hard. I'm I'm trying really hard to not tell specific stories as often about her. Um, to more just talk about like the things that I'm going through with parenting in like vague terms. Um, but yeah. Thank you, Strongfoot. Yeah, so Vlogmas is basically shelved for right now. I thought about trying to do, I've, I've toyed with like ideas of what to do in place of Vlogmas before. One of them was, could I um, basically do like projects all throughout December, right? Um, but again, <laughs> do I have the time for that? Not really, so. Yeah, building projects, craft projects, like anything like that, really. <clears throat> Study hall miss, yeah, basically. Yeah, I love talking about her. Um, but what is your Twitch channel profile picture? Me in an Elmo costume in front of fire. Yeah, it's that. It's that emote. <laughs> Cooking project's not really valid for a stream. You can cook on, on Twitch. There's a whole category called cooking. <laughs> but this is for Vlogmas, which is which is like edited videos. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, we've done cooking streams before. They were very fun. <clears throat> Since your setup isn't in your kitchen. Yeah. I've been trying to figure out. Yeah, I want to do I want to do them again. I've been trying to figure out how to make that work. Oh my god, wait. Veering into a different lane. So I talked a while back about how bummed I was that it's really difficult to watch the new Blue's Clues here. It's all on Netflix, baby. They just put Blue's Clues in you is on Netflix. Oh my God. Clarky and I were watching it. I love it so much. <laughs> it's so cute. The whole first episode, he... Uh, um, Josh, the new guy, he like calls up the past, you know, like Blue's Clues hosts and asks them for advice on like how to play Blue's Clues and stuff. It's so cute. It's so cute. Is it different from the original? Yeah, it's like, it's like a new Blue's Clues. Um, and it's adorable. And like, sometimes instead of regular mail he gets emails and like you know they they incorporate like modern technology into it um but it's still it's so cute and it still has all kinds of songs and like the campiness and it's adorable did i sleep yes i did why <clears throat> Manga pod was fun last night. Wasn't it cute? Oh my gosh. If you guys missed Manga pod, uh, we unveiled the, the PNG tubers and they were so cute. Oh my God. That was really fun. It's gonna be the best because literally all we have to do now that it's all set up all we have to do is hop into a voice channel it's all we have to do and then it's just set and then it's just done it's set up it's so nice <laughs> so i also like that <laughs> cuz aaron was like well, if we wanted to do like, like holiday versions of them, what would we do? And I was like, we literally can just, cause he, he gave me the, the, the Photoshop documents. Literally <laughs> we can just take like shitty clip art of Santa hats and shit and just put them on them and then re-export them and throw them in. It's, it's, it's just foolproof. It's so good. Yeah, I can just put a pumpkin on top of my head and it'll be great. <clears throat> I can also move them around wherever I want, which I also love. So if there's ever a goof that I can think of for one of us to be like, <laughs> really small in the background behind something or like any of like the sky's the limit <laughs> the sky's the limit now and yeah we're very excited for a guest to show up so that you can see what the, what the guest one is because it's so good Is it difficult to set up the Discord to the avatar to the person thing? No. Honestly, no. Once you've got the first one set up, it's basically copy paste and then you replace like um, their Discord ID code and then the pictures that you want to use. And that's it. Um, so yeah. 
I do like the new Life is Strange so far. I have not heard from Jesse about playing more of it. <laughs> which makes me think, which makes me think that, um, that Jesse is trying to decide whether or not he wants to completely re-record the first part. Because I bet you money <laughs> that he does. <laughs> I bet you lots of dollar bills that he wants to redo the whole beginning. You guys re-record gameplay together? No. In this scenario though, maybe. Can you say why? So we, we decided to try streaming it. So we streamed the first section of Life is Strange. And, um, Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> it is entirely DMCA fodder. So if you turn on like streamer mode, it just takes all of the music out. So I was like, that's fine. We'll just put in our own music. But like, it's, it's actually like a fantastic soundtrack with really good music in it. And the whole time I was just going really hard on making up music and Jesse was like, I bet this part's really cool with the actual song. I bet. I bet this is really cool with the real song. <laughs> so. Thank you. I tried, I did my best. I know, I'm also shocked that they didn't even bother to put in placeholder music. You think Aaron would fly to the UK to see you? Maybe. I think I don't think that she would come by herself. I think like maybe the whole family would come to England sometime for a visit, but Welcome, you fine I'm surprised how good of a singer you are every time. Are you referring to that stream? Talk so Talk so talk so talk so because that's that was the highlight for me singing wise <laughs> we did a full version of toxo yesterday incredible <laughs> Um, yeah, so today, uh, normally on a Saturday in the evening, we would have misdemeanor. There's no misdemeanor today. It's my fault. It's my fault. Uh, but I, I did not reschedule the thing that I, that I scheduled because I'm seeing Kelly today. I'm very excited. I get to meet Kelly in for real's life. It's the only day we can do it, so, um, yeah. Very excited about that. <sighs> and Clarkie is gonna, um, is gonna hang out with Granddad. So she's very excited about that as well. How do you work out? I lift a kid all the time. <laughs> That's my workout. I lift a kid all the time. And then she asks me to dance with her. And then I dance with her all the time. And then I go to bed and I'm exhausted. <laughs> Watson, I need you to chill, darling girl. Thank you. I know the misdemeanor fan art has been incredible. People keep being like, when misdemeanor finally comes back, there's gonna be like an hour of fan art, but it's so good. Oh my God, we've been like so spoiled on misdemeanor art. It's amazing. Yeah, there's an artist in the in the IO Discord named Dyer, and Dyer has just been doing specifically tons of Zahani art. I think that Dyer really loves Zahani, but but because Zahani is with us now, 
It's been a bunch of just misdemeanor art and oh my God, my heart is full. No, the door, the door is barred against my child. Not my cats, but unfortunately, you know, casualties of war. Uh, who's Kelly? I'm out of the loop. Kelly is um, a lovely friend that I found uh, through another D&D game that we did. She and I got really close um, and she wound up being able to visit uh, and see a bunch of friends and things and come out here. And so we set up a, a day for us to go and meet each other. I guess she gets about more now. <laughs> yeah, she's three and a half. So yeah, she is, she is a human that walks and has opinions and talks and dances and yells and does all, all the human things. <laughs> do you still do podcasts? I miss, miss you in co-optional. I don't do a gaming podcast anymore. Uh, Jesse and I have talked about doing a podcast again. We haven't figured out what we would want to do yet. Um, the only podcast that I'm on that's still going is Manga Pod. So if you like manga and you want to hear a manga book club with a few people, uh, then come hang out. That's super fun. We do that every Friday night. We just did one last night. Oh ho, chat. There's been a development. I got to be girl builder today. I know. It's very exciting. I was girl builder today. I know, I know. And then um, I was girl builder for maybe like five minutes and she found me wanting, I guess, and decided that instead we were playing Adam's Family and asked me to be Boxley. And the second I started talking, she was like, no, that is not how he talks. <laughs> So it's like I have Twitch chat in my house being like, that voice could use some work. I was like, I'm doing my best here to sound like your psychotic little brother Wednesday. <laughs> Unreal. And then she did it again in the car on the way home. We drove to ballet. The second we got in the car to come home, she was like, I'm Wednesday and I'm wearing a black ballet outfit. I was like, okay. And, she, and I was waiting for her to be like, and you're Morticia, cause that's normally who I am. But no, she was like, and you're Boxley. And I was like, okay. Literally all I said was okay. And she was like, mommy. <laughs> Talk like Boxley, mommy. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? No. I don't want to play this. Yeah, it is Pugsley, but she calls him Boxley. <laughs> Whenever my kid would do that, I'd just pick an even more wrong accent. Yeah. It is Pugsley? Yeah, it's Pugsley. Bo Boxley is what Clark calls Pugsley. Pugsley is the is the son in Adam's family. So there's the dad Gomez, the mom Morticia, Wednesday the sister. Sometimes Clark decides she doesn't want to be Wednesday. She wants to be Tuesday. So she's made an OC now. Um, and and then Pugsley, but Clark always calls him Boxley. Mine calls her pink unicorn doll Muticorn, like it's a Pokemon. <laughs> Incredible. If she gets fed up, does she stop wanting to play with you? No. Um, she does the, I don't want to be your friend anymore. I don't want to play with you anymore. If, uh, if I'm like really standing my ground on something that's annoying the shit out of her. Demand to be cousin it. No, Sam is cousin it. Because Sam has all the hair. So Sam puts all of his hair in front of his face and pretends to be cousin it, and it's very cute. Uh, welcome, you fine, <sighs> Hold on. Loving, coffee drinking burrito babe.
What about Uncle Fester? Granddad is Uncle Fester. Everyone has characters, guys. Don't worry. Everyone's been assigned. Did someone try invading the office? I just keep hearing Watson like pushing the door up against this and it's very distracting. <laughs> I want to do a puzzle. It's perfect weather for it. Have you heard about the Dodger Coffee Co. puzzle? <laughs> I say this like it could just show up at your door today. <laughs> By now, it'll show up in four to six hours. <laughs> this smooth segue. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I was saying I really want, I want to go to Switzerland because I've never been and it's fucking expensive. So when I had the opportunity to go before, I was like, hell no, I ain't got the money for that shit. Um, I feel like we could go now. So, uh, We've been trying to sort out like a ski slash snowboarding trip. I was like, maybe we could do it in Switzerland and then I can say I've been. Cause it's apparently very pretty. I, ha no, I haven't read the Bat Fam webtoon yet. And I need to, because that is my shit. I've been to Austria though. It was great. But I've been. I'm trying to go new places. Yeah. I should make a list. I should make a list of like... All of the places nearby that I've never been to. Wales is on there. I really want to go to Wales. Um, it's it's right there. <laughs> it's free real estate. Tallinn is beautiful. I want to go back to Tallinn for sure. Where some rural villages exclusively speak in Welsh. Every time I talk about learning another language, somebody in chat is like, Welsh is pretty easy. I don't believe that. <laughs> Welsh is hard. Welsh is not easy. Yeah, I don't know why anyone has ever said that before. <laughs> X to doubt. <sighs> um, I'm trying to remember where all we went in Spain. It was like Madrid, Barcelona. And like, that was it, I think. That's where all my shit got stolen. So I've kind of blacked out that whole part of the trip. <laughs> we were together. Lisa, who's going to be Barbara Gordon? Lisa who? Wait, 
I'll just look it up. Lisa Foils? No way! It's gonna be Barb? <gasps> what? No fucking way. That's amazing. That's so exciting. What? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for her. I do, I do love rye bread. That's a good pitch for Denmark. <laughs> Bye, Dilettante. Have a good day. What? Oh my god. All these people that I know are in it. What? I'm so jealous. Denmark rye bread is the default when talking about bread. Is that true? Because legitimately rye bread is my favorite bread. <laughs> Should I move to Denmark? <laughs> Sam hates rye bread, so this is the time to go. <laughs> it was a joke. It was a joke. I'm not actually gonna move to Denmark. <laughs> for those of you who took that seriously for some reason. Sam is wrong. Rye is good. I mean, someone's, like, personal tastes about food I don't think can be wrong or right <laughs> is their personal tastes. <laughs> Sam don't like rye bread. He's not wrong. He's just at odds with me as a human. <laughs> No, it's just a blankie on the chair. Bye, Anime Jesus. Have a good day. My friend puts olive, anchovies, tuna, and pineapple on one pizza. They like salt, I can tell. <laughs> I just finished a Hatful Boyfriend marathon two days ago. Oh my god. I came from your YouTube community post. I've been watching your old dating sim videos for the past few years. Oh my gosh. Welcome! The community post worked. Even if it's just one. Even if it's just one, it worked. <laughs> Yay! Welcome! I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> what if there was a second post? I don't know what you're talking about. We wouldn't plan a second post for engagement. That would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR sips. I'm going to take a drink of my coffee now. Delicious. <laughs> what if engagement was about consistency? Ah, oh, I see that's where I've gone wrong. I had, um, uh, S Sam and I are, are like Twitch manager now. Incredible. I've never had this happen before. She contacted us and was like, hey, um, 
I put together a, uh, basically like a presentation about all of your analytics and like the sorts of trends that we're seeing and things that are going well for you and places where we think you can improve and stuff like that. And I was like, what? <laughs> What? She was like, yeah, I mean, just like, because I thought it might help. <laughs> so she had a, a meeting with Sam and showed him all of his data and had a meeting with me and showed me all of my data. And both of us uh, show like um, unbelievable consistency in terms of like people showing up, like always showing up. Um, that for me, like my hours are always really consistent as well. So like, she was just like, there's like a lot of consistency in your data. It's like, you sit around the same number of subs, you do the same number of hours, you get about the same number of like amount of engagement. And like people, you know, generally are like, no, I want to see it go up. But she was like, it's incredible to see like that much consistency. Um, so, hey, <laughs> thank you guys. That's all you. Yeah, it was literally, she showed me the graph. It was literally like, and then in February it went pew. And then <laughs> just stable. She's like, so I would say like, you know, um, something of note is that when you do plan big, cool stuff, people show up for it. They, they're excited about it. So, you know, maybe look at the year ahead of you and choose like a few different times that you'd like to do something really big, you know, that like gives back to your community and like has a goal or whatever. Um, you know, and come up with like some fun stuff to do for like, a, you know, a big stream more often, basically. And I was like, that's a good idea. But I think it's lovely. I think I've said this before, but I think it's amazing that like, you know, the that we're able to just kind of be consistent and stable. <laughs> Did you look at, look at VOD views? No, she doesn't have access to that. Once every 10 years isn't enough. <laughs> yeah. I started watching your streams in 2014 as my boyfriend introduced me and my boyfriend is now my husband. Aw, that's very sweet. <laughs> Does that mean for every new consistent member an old one is replaced? Don't. We have really good, um, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but uh, my mods were looking at like the data for our Discord as well. We have like really, we have really good like return engagement on the Discord as well. So, so look at that. People like being here. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. This has been one of my favorite emotes. I like it as well. Danny keeps being like, I wanna redo the, the I wanna redo the fire, but I kind of love that the fire in the background is literally just a picture of fire going like this. I think it's really funny. Discord is open to everybody, yeah. We have uh I think one channel in there that's sub only and literally once every three days somebody puts an emote in there and that is the extent that is the extent of what you're missing if you are not a sub <laughs> that's it that's it somebody goes in there it might not even be my emote <laughs> they'll just throw an emote in there and be like yep good showing everybody we did it <laughs> Don't give it away. I'm sorry. I just, you know, in case anybody, in case anybody is like, what are they doing in there? It's just, it's just emotes.
quite exclusive. Yes. <laughs> Don't change it. It's perfect. Hi, Carla. I think it's perfect, too. I think it's like the perfect amount of like effort put into the little me in the Elmo costume and then like the jankiness of just fire doing this. It's it's good. It's good content. Which one's sub only? One of them is called like Cat Gang something something. Yeah. There's there's like a drop down menu that says Cat Gang and then there's <laughs> it's just yeah, it's just emotes and stickers in here. I'm sorry. I know that I know I probably should make it sound like it's way more exciting, but I renamed it. <laughs> the Cat Gang exclusive chat. Good. I started watching around 2010, 2011. Although since the move to Twitch, I can't watch as consistently. Consistently, I try to keep up. Thank you. That's very sweet. Yeah, I've I've run into a couple of people like in for reals life, who have said, you know, um, I watched you on YouTube. I don't really have the time to watch Twitch. Uh, so you know, it is what it is. I don't really watch you anymore. I don't. That's fine. You know, um, this was like a natural, uh, like direction for me to go in. I really enjoy streaming. I think it's really, really fun. I think that I'm more suited to it than I was to YouTube. Um, but you know, every, every person who's ever watched me has their own stuff going on with their own schedule and their own life. And like I've said a million times before, if, even once every few years, you're like, I wonder if Dodger's still doing stuff. And you swing by to say hi and then go back to your life. Like, that's incredible that I was even, that you even thought of me, you know? <laughs> like, I think that's super cool. I appreciate that so much. So yeah, I don't mind it. I'm not, I'm not offended. But that's true, we do upload all of our VODs. <laughs> they need to watch every, no, come here every day. <laughs> come here every day, otherwise it doesn't count. <laughs> oh, I got two of your shirts in oversized and they're so comfy. I'm so glad you like them, Carla, thank you. After catching up on two weeks of VODs, I'm trying to be here every day. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet that you even watch the VODs. Thank you. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, that was the other thing. Is <laughs> my, my Twitch manager was like, do you know that you don't use going live notifications and I was like what <laughs> she was like yeah you don't you don't use them there's there's literally no record of you ever using a go live notification and I was like what <laughs> so yeah apparently I thought that so the way that it looks when you open up when you open up the the like info the way that it looks is that when you go live, it'll it'll just send out like a general like Dex bonus is live, and so you get no like cust sorry custom notifications I should say, Dex bonus is live and that that would go out to people. Um. And she was like, well, you know, <laughs> it would definitely help if. Uh, the notification wasn't just Dex bonuses live every day. <laughs> um, but we have like we've we've incorporated like there's a Discord ping and stuff that you can that you can sign up for on our Discord and stuff like that because it seems like so many of these methods of getting notified about a stream are kind of inconsistent. 
uh, maybe don't go through at all. So we try to give people lots of options, like whatever option makes the most sense for you to, to get like a, hey, a stream is happening, you know? I knew about you for years from YouTube stuff, but didn't start watching streams until close to when you announced your pregnancy. It's cool because my sister had my second nephew right around the same time. It's been fun to compare Clark and my Brucey in their three nature-ness. Oh my goodness. Big hugs to Brucey. What a cute name. <laughs> it's actually mad. I've been watching your stuff for 10 years. I've gone from being in school as an 11 year old. I'm now working full time as a 21 year old man. <laughs> Life is actually stupid nuts. That's crazy. Yeah. Life. Did you see the Jeff Goldblum video? Is the full video out now? I haven't seen it. I did know, I've known for a while that he got to do a thing with Jeff Goldblum. I was, I was in the know on that. So uh, when I saw the like little snippet, I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to be so good. Oh my gosh, Nolsey, I hope you're okay. Jesse streamed it yesterday to 26k viewers. Incredible. The video is a wild ride. I'm sure it is. <laughs> How strange. Oh, goodness. He spends the whole video referring to Jesse as either Jess or Game Master. Incredible. Fuck, it sounds like it's just chaos. I can't wait. What a big opportunity for Jeff. I can't believe Jeff got to meet Jesse. Holy shit. That's so funny. Oh my God. I love it. Ah. <sighs> I've really messed up my hair again. So see, do you see the like, boom, boom? So that's the that's the hair tie bump that I was talking about yesterday. It's the worst. Probably leave it down for a little bit here. I loved there's a 10 minute conversation about the species of fly that fell in his drink. Good. If it if it wasn't like kooky crazy, if it wasn't just like a wild ride of a conversation, it it would be such a disappointment. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like Flies in Beverly's will always remind me of being a kid and going to the Greasy Spoon that was in the middle of my hometown, which again, only had like a, like a thousand people in it, maybe. I think I think it was only a few hundred when I was little, little, but anyways. Um, and they brought me a hot chocolate and there was a fly in it. And my dad was like, hey, there's a fly in my kid's hot chocolate. And they were like, okay, they took it away. They were like, we'll make you a new one. Brought me a hot chocolate and there was a fly in it. <laughs> and we were like, did they, did they take it back there for a minute and then just bring me the same cup? <laughs> like what happened here? <laughs> I'm so confused. I want to give them, as an adult, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt that, that somebody was like, hey, make a new hot chocolate. And then they assumed that that person made that that, that that was the new hot chocolate and they brought it, right? But. Mm. 
The Greasy Spoon sounds like a restaurant in a cartoon. Greasy Spoon is like a reference to um, a place to go eat where uh, you're pretty positive not everything is cleaned properly. <laughs> <laughs> Like, <laughs> like you might walk away a little sick, but the food was probably good. This is kind of like a like a dingy place. So we had two diners in my hometown. One of them is still going. Okay, one of them was incredible, like a really really good one that we loved going to. The other one is the greasy spoon that I'm talking about that was an absolute piece of shit. And guess which one is still going? <laughs> There's no justice in this world. <laughs> There's no justice in this world. So. It's cheaper to run a dirty shop, I guess. The, 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 like, greasy spoon, so to speak, was the one that, um, that all of the, like, truckers and, and, like, farmers and stuff would go to. But it was by far the one with the worst food. <laughs> like, it was not, it was not good. It's unfortunate. where peeps want the cheap place, but it's not good though. But it's not good though. <laughs> but it's not good food though. <sighs> I love a diner. I love a diner. But it's okay, the greasy spoon can't hurt you anymore. There's a place, uh, there's a place that my mom took me to and I, the last time that I went, home um oh a bunch of people are coming in hello last time that i went home which is in oregon uh we live like in the in the boonies in like farm country in oregon and uh my mom was like there's a new breakfast place i have to take you and sam so she took us and it's literally a breakfast place that's being run out of a mobile home you would not know that it's there you have to like find it <laughs> It's incredible. It was so quintessential. I was just like, I love this. And the food was amazing. It was so good. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Any place, look, any place that I can go to and be like, hi, I would like this breakfast that's one egg, one, like a couple pieces of toast, maybe some bacon and just a shit ton of hash browns. If they have that breakfast, that's what I will get to test whether or not the place is good. Yeah, I don't need more than one egg. I'm not, I'm not a, <laughs> despite the fact that I have three chickens, I'm not a big egg person. <laughs> One egg is fine, but don't shortchange me on the hash browns. What kind of egg? Runny yolk, not scrambled. I want I want an over medium egg. Yeah, I went a little hardcore one time. Sam and I went to a diner that was near our old place in Los Angeles, and I was like, all I want is hash browns, so I'm just gonna order an entire plate of hash browns. So I did it, and the owner was like this really jolly old man who would just like sit outside, and so he was the one who took our order. <laughs> I was like, I just want, I just really want hash browns. Can you give me like a whole plate of hash browns? And he was like, you betcha. And I've never in my life felt like I overdid it <laughs> on hash browns, except for that day. <laughs> I was like, this, this was a mistake. I need the other things to balance this. <laughs> I needed the other stuff. I didn't know, I didn't realize until now, but I needed the other things. <laughs> so. I've made a regret, exactly. Whoopsie boopsie, if you will. 
It's nearly as bad as when you played I Am Setsuna and made everyone Setsuna. Um, that was a classic. That was not overdoing it. That was perfection. The second that somebody, this, <laughs> look, the perfect moment of that game was being given an important choice and having to choose between two characters and they just both said Setsuna <laughs> and we had no idea which one was which. That was, that was like, the, it was such a long form goof that that was perfected <laughs> in that moment. In that moment of having to actually make an important choice, but having no idea who you were picking. <laughs> we should do that again. We should play another RPG and name everybody the same thing. We should do that again. That was so good. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they've all renamed themselves at this point, but we had quite a few people with Setsuna screen names for a while in here. And then Twitch made it so easy to change your screen name and suddenly they all vanished. <laughs> Imagine making informed decisions instead of chaos. Nope. I don't know her. <laughs> I don't like that. Fart was also very good. I'm trying to remember. Did we name our character Fart in Omori? What did we name our character in Omori? Was it Fart? Because that, that, that was a mistake. <laughs> Normally I don't regret naming a character something like that but good god there was a point in omori where i was like i, I can't believe i've done this <laughs> really ruined the entire mood of this game <laughs> it got to the point where every time i read a line i just wouldn't say fart <laughs> if somebody was like fart what do you think i would just <laughs> edit it out Oh my god. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Why are there 6k people in here? Because we're front paged, baby! I think this is our last day being front paged. I am gonna have to leave like right at the top of the hour um, to go see Kelly. So I can't be here for very long, uh, but I suppose it's important to say, any of you who came here from uh, our YouTube community post or are here because of the front page and all of that, welcome. Uh, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for checking out the stream. I'm Dodger. I sit around with coffee and talk about life. If you like that vibe, then maybe come back. Our community is really sweet. First stream in four years. Oh my goodness. Welcome. Yeah. Click, click follow. Subscribe to the channel. Ring, ring that bell. Put me in your top eight. I don't know. Whatever it is that people do nowadays. I will say hi to Kelly. <sighs> yeah, add me on MySpace. Watch my video titled, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> it's new, I swear. Does Sam know Amariel? I can't believe you made the joke that everyone makes. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> yes, good times. 
He has to, it's in the contract. Oh no. Oh no. I think Life Journal's still real. Wait, we're gonna find out together. Oh, it is. Join. Username. <laughs> okay, so I wasn't gonna say. <laughs> so, uh, went to Live Journal, said join for free, because that's what the button says, and it said, What do you want your username to be? So I typed in Dex bonus, and it says that belongs to a purged account. <laughs> what does that mean? What do you mean a purged account? What happened? <laughs> What? Oh my god. You can obtain purged usernames by renaming an existing username This doesn't make any sense. This don't make any sense. Okay, fine. Great, that one's free. Great. Okay, good. What? Yeah, that's that's a good password. This is high octane gameplay, okay guys? Yes, I am an other wonderful create account. Okay, you can find me at dexboners.livejournal.com. This is your journal page. Add interesting people as your friends. I don't know them. Your profile page lets you share information. Great. Navigate through your tags. Oh my god. Holy shit. Well, I guess I'm starting a live journal. <laughs> don't put any actual info on it. I'm, I, I wouldn't. This is a goof. <laughs> This was a goof. <laughs> I had no idea Dodger was number one in guitars. It's true. On the back it says Denny's. There's an old store in Portland called Denny's, number one in guitars. I never regret clicking on this stream. Appreciate it. <laughs> Wait, but now, okay, hold on. Settings. Edit. <laughs> I'm spending, I'm paying too much time, paying too much attention and time on a goof. Why is that one framed picture still on the ground? Because I haven't hung it. Occam's razor. There's no such thing as too much anything for a goof. Octo, probably. That is the way that Octo lives his life. <laughs> there is no way for you uh, to go too hard on a goof, says Octo. 
This is a Curse of Strahd box. Curse of Strahd, that's an Endwalker box for the person who pointed that out. See, there's good shit on the floor. Why can't my Lord of the Rings Who Loves Who picture be on the floor with them? It deserves the spotlight just as much. Are you a box enthusiast? No, I get rid of boxes the second I can. Even before, like, people will be like, you really should keep that box for a while, and I won't because I hate them so much. <laughs> That's what that is? Yep. Who loves who in Lord of the Rings? It's very good. <laughs> I'm back. I want a beard respect relationship. I believe that that's in your future. It is a, an old Noel Stevenson one, yeah. Um, they don't do fan art anymore, but back in the day when they were doing exclusively fan art stuff, um, yeah, I bought both of these. This one and then this one. This one's Mary and Pippin talking about their coffee, which is very on brand for me. <laughs> yeah. Your blankie looks like latte foam art. Someone else said that, which I love. It's very soft. Do people that go to HomeSense a lot realize that all the same stuff is at TK Maxx? Do you guys know that? I've been to both recently. They have a lot of the same things. Do you know that? <laughs> I just wanna make sure <laughs> that you're aware. Are you playing Curse of Strahd? No, I'm not. I'm not currently. The um, the UK D and D team sent me that, which is lovely. So I've got everything that I need to run a Curse of Strahd game if I want to. It's the same company. Oh. Every time you say TK Maxx, it makes me irrationally angry. <laughs> That's it's, it's weird that that's the trigger, but. <laughs> TK Maxx and TJ Maxx are the same store. You could do Halloween D&D for your family. Oh my God, that would be very fun. Is that a UK joke? What do you mean? How is it a joke? Thank you, I'm so glad you like the teas. Wait, like DK West? DK West, DK West, he's our man, he's the best. Is that what that's making you think of? <laughs> or as chat liked to sing it while we were playing the game, Doogie West, Doogie West, she's our man, she's the best. Doogie West, Doogie West, she's our man, she's the best. <laughs> the devs are making a new game. Oh, that's exciting. I really liked that game. I'm, I'm glad that they're gonna take a crack at another thing. Cause I think like there were a lot of places where that game was weak, but overall it was really good, so. Yeah, sorry, that's gonna be stuck in your head forever. <laughs> <laughs> K 
Yeah. Every time I message my mother-in-law being like, hey, we need to make your character for D&D, &D, the, like, we have trouble finding a good time for it. I'm starting to feel like this game's never gonna happen. It's a bummer. I know, it's very sweet, Free, I agree. So again, thank you guys, um, mods. Thank you guys for suggesting that we put a community post up. I hadn't thought of that. My Chemical Romance Sherlock Holmes is gonna be, oh my God, I can't wait. I can't wait. I also got um, an advanced code for a game with the explicit like, don't tell anybody you have this game. Don't show anybody that you have this game. And I'm just sitting around being like, that's cool. <laughs> Why did you give this to me? <laughs> Why did you give this to me? It's a test. Yo, it's a super bummer. So I was I was involved I've I've said before, I was involved in the like um Final Fantasy 14 the the Endwalker media stuff, like the hands-on media stuff. Um and they sent us like packets with you know, anything that we would need if, like, you're a journalist and you're doing a write-up or anything like that. And immediately a bunch of it was leaked. <laughs> and I had just had a conversation with one of the Square reps where they were like, yeah, you know, like, um, uh, it's been really hard to get this many people involved in a, in a hands-on media thing because uh, they're, they're like really worried that something's gonna leak and so you know they're they're kind of like hesitant to let people do this but you know we're really hoping that everybody's gonna be on their best behavior and literally literally the second we had shit someone went on a discord with a bunch of people and showed it all off and then someone in that discord started spreading it and it was like what <laughs> why do you why Ruining it for everybody. My mom says you're cute. Hi, Major Reads, mom. I hope you're having a lovely day. I appreciate the compliment. Welcome, you fine. Angel of Chaos. Welcome to the Cat Gang. Thank you very much. Isn't that what an NDA is for? Yeah, they don't, I don't know that, well, it's it's not my place, so I wouldn't know the details. Um, I don't know whether or not they know the, the exact person who did it, but. Anyways, hey. Don't don't spread stuff when you're told, hey, there's a there's a a street date for this information. <laughs> Do you feel strongly about ketchup on eggs? In what way? Do I feel strongly about it? My husband puts ketchup on eggs because when he got, when he started trying to uh, get ripped, he ate a ton of eggs and he now hates eggs. So if he has eggs, he puts ketchup on them. That's the only opinion I have on ketchup is that my husband maybe puts too much ketchup on his eggs. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people put put hot sauce on their eggs. 
Oh, I want to say also, because uh, I, I keep forgetting to say this, but if you're somebody who uh, is patiently waiting to be able to talk, we have it on follower uh, follower only mode in chat, and you have to be following for 10 minutes, I believe, currently. Um, so if you're waiting the 10 minutes patiently, thank you very much. It's to curb bots and other potentially malicious stuff from being in our chat, so it's to protect people. Um, but yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. <clears throat> A nice tangy barbecue sauce on eggs. Ooh. Barbecue sauce is very sweet, so I don't like barbecue sauce very much. Not a big fan. Just saying hi. Hi, Nature's Realm. How are you? If you if you home make ketchup, it's it's not super sweet. I mean, or rather, I should say, you can customize how sweet it is. Uh, but generally, homemade ketchups are not going to be sweet the way that store bought ketchups are. So, if you're interested in having a ketchup like thing, but you find that ketchup itself tends to be a little sweet for you, you can maybe try making your own. What if I didn't put anything on eggs? Yeah, I normally don't really put anything on my eggs either. <laughs> but I'm not a I'm not a sauce kid. I don't put sauce on stuff just in general. I don't like I don't like a sauce on my sandwiches. I don't put sauce on my burgers. I don't <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a sauce person, so I don't generally put anything on my eggs. No, so well, I don't I don't mean like um like seasoning. I wasn't counting seasoning. I meant like y'all are saying ketchup and hot sauce, right? Like sauces. My partner is a saucy lady. What brand of mayo is in your fridge? I don't know. I don't really eat it. Liquid smoke is also great for bacon alternatives. If if you're interested in like vegan alternatives at all. That's that's like one of the quintessential ingredients to to doing like like carrot bacon and all of that sort of stuff. Is liquid smoke. Or smoked sea salt. Smoked sea salt? I've never had that. I used to be a put ketchup on basically everything person, but I've started to curb it. I, um... I used to put, I used to put so much sugar in my coffee and I now put the equivalent of like one sugar cube in my coffee and even that sometimes feels a little sweet to me, which, which to me feels like such a victory because I used to put so much sugar in my coffee. And then I got to a point where I was like, I need to stop. <laughs> you gotta stop. Then you put honey in your coffee? I do sometimes. Honey in instant coffee is very nostalgic for me. People keep trying to convince me to put no sugar in my coffee. Why can't I have sugar? I don't know, why can't you have sugar? Do you put too much sugar in there? Sugar and coffee just in general, I don't see why there would be an issue, but I don't know you, so. 
Honey is a lot better for you than refined sugar. Yeah, I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> Honey and coffee sucks. Then don't then don't have it, my dude. This is like the rye conversation all over again. <laughs> there we go. Now we've come full circle. Put ketchup in your coffee, everybody. Agreed. Make it so. Who's bad mouthing rye? I said that Sam doesn't like rye bread, and someone was like, Does Sam know that he's wrong? Or something adjacent. <laughs> Have you played any VR games? If so, which one stood out to you? I've done a little bit of VR stuff. Half-Life Alex is like the most incredible VR thing that I've ever done, by far. It's so, so good. Um, but I've been doing VR occasionally, yeah. Spicy chocolate is a thing. It is, it's delicious. Do you have a guilty pleasure food? Cracks knuckles. Um, if you gave me one of those giant tubs of red vines, I could eat all of it by myself. I could sit right here and eat the whole goddamn thing. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what it is about red vines, but fuck, I could eat all of them. Yeah. It's it's very divisive. Some people adore red vines and some people hate them. Have you restocked on them? No, the Tesco that's, we've only ever been able to find them at Tesco and the Tesco that's near us doesn't have them anymore, so. About black red vines? If I was gonna get black red vines, I would just get black licorice. Which I also like. I, I like black licorice, but I would rather just get good quality black licorice. <laughs> Is it divisive or divisive? I think they're both correct. Could you do the 100 McNugget challenge for a million dollars? I don't know. I am on the front page, dabs. I don't know why I always feel like I have to do that because I'm pretty sure people leave the second I do that. But, hey, if I do a dab and you stick around, then I feel like, you know, we can start off on the right foot here. I leave when you do that and then I come back. It's a principal thing. <laughs> sure, that's fair. Look, some of my little Sylvies. You can see them again. They were lost to us when we dyed my hair, but they're coming back. They're coming back, my kiddos. My wisdom hairs, yeah, yeah, yeah. My wisdom hairs. I have way more gray hair than you two. I'm jealous, but it's fine. You don't have to flex and chat. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. So everybody knows what they're getting into. I 
want gray hair, but all I've managed is gray eyelashes and eyebrows. Don't you dye your hair fairly frequently free or no? Mm, gotcha. Yeah, my mom, my mom, I don't think got gray hair for a really, really long time. And, uh, and so when I, when I was talking to her and I was like, mom, I'm getting some grays right in the front. I'm so excited. She was like, already? <laughs> what? Why? I was like, I don't know. I don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> Ignore that part. They're, they're, they're coming. What is your favorite Final Fantasy XIV Beast Tribe and why is it Namazu? Um, for whatever reason, the, the dwarves in Final Fantasy XIV wound up being a beast tribe, so I guess they're my favorite. <laughs> they're literally just Lollafells, but apparently you go into an AU and, and the Lollafells of that world get a new name and they're beasties now. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I don't want to spoil too much about Final Fantasy XIV since a lot of people are experiencing it now for the first time. But, like, goddamn. Lolly ho indeed. Is it too late to start 14? No, a lot of people are starting it right now. A lot of people are like just experiencing it now. It's actually a really good time to start. Endwalker is coming out really quick here. Um, so yeah, I would say now is the time. If you're interested, there's so much content. Uh, the story just gets better and better with each expansion and they've got this like really long free trial. Um, so yeah, I would say definitely try it out. Yes, yeah, cuz we're it's cuz we're on front page. It's cuz we're on front page. That's why we got so many viewers. What are your feelings on New World? Um, I know that Sam has gone to war so many times. <laughs> uh, according to Sam, I haven't played it. So these are my these are like secondhand opinions, but I'm going to hop off cuz there's too many people. Do it. Have a fantastic day. Um, uh, Sam has said that New World is nice because you can literally just be a crafter and that's a totally legitimate way to play the MMO. You can just, you can just do that. You can just fish and level up the same way as people that are fighting stuff. Um, so. But yeah, he's... <laughs> It, it felt for a while there, like every day or so, he was like, well, I have to go do a new world war. <laughs> I was like, what? Why are you having wars so often? But apparently there's no cooldown. So somebody can just declare war against you and then you have a war. And then the next day you could have another war because someone else declared war. Like it's crazy. Sam did finish Uwu, yeah. He texted it to me in all caps. And then I was like, that's cool. Um, as a reminder, <laughs> you said you were gonna go to ballet today. And he was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but he like really messed up his neck. So we used that as an excuse. And we were like, Clarky, daddy's like, daddy's neck is really hurting and he needs to get some sleep because mommy and daddy are going on a date later. So, um, you know, can you guys do it? Can you guys do a pinky promise? Do a pinky promise that um, uh, 
that daddy will go to ballet with you next week. And she was like, okay. didn't throw for Gmart. Yeah, he was talking to me about that. He was like, Gmart's gonna be really upset. <laughs> we don't have pinky promises in Greece. I was always so confused when I saw them in movies as a kid. Yeah, it's really common. You wrap pinkies like this. You say pinky promise. Got about 15 minutes left of the stream today. Sorry, it has to be short because um, we're gonna go meet, see Kelly and do Dato stuff, so. In my area of England, we spit in our hand and shake. I've, I've seen that in storybooks and songs, but uh, Tell her she's the best. I will. I'm very excited to see her in For Real's life. I'm very sad to not do misdemeanor, but it's worth it. Kelly's worth it. <laughs> Fucking Kelly emotes. Do you think she looks like Mirage? No? <laughs> but I haven't seen her in For Real's life. I've only seen pictures of her. Just need to get Kelly on Misdemeanor. Yeah, for the four episodes that are left of Misdemeanor. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have a good time, I'm sure. I'm very excited. It'll be fun to do friendo stuff. Hey, I feel like this worked. The the like crease really calms down because we, we had it out, right? I think that worked for us. I'm glad we did that. <laughs> Freedom UK, thank you for the biddies. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, might as well use gravity to my advantage since it ruins my ability to jump. It can do something good for me, please. <sighs> Has the car been doing better since the great chicken stalling? Has the car been doing better? The car dies almost every time we drive it now. It's getting worse, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, literally, we were running late to ballet and the car died on the highway and I was like, cool! <laughs> Very neat. Very cool. I like it a lot. Thank you. Good car. <laughs> it's Jacuzzi. Welcome to the cat gang. Thank you very much for subscribing. It's fine. You just let it sit for a minute and then you restart it, but it's still obnoxious, especially if you're like on a highway, right? Where everybody's trying to go fast. Are you driving in the UK? Yep. Any idea why the car's doing that? I wish I knew. Baker Staunch, thank you very much for all the gifted subs. Welcome to the cat gang. Everybody who has gifted a sub, be sure to thank Baker Staunch if you got one of those. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. When we bought it, the intention was just get a cheap car. Just get a, we just, we moved here and we didn't have a car. We didn't have a car for a long time. And then like, we were looking into, you know, Clark going to nursery and like all this other stuff. And so it turned into, all right, well, we need a car, even if it's a shitty car. So we bought a shitty car. Um, and I and I adore it. It's a sweet old man, but it's it's really it's really on its last legs. So I'm looking at um, reliable vehicles, reliable secondhand vehicles that I can get. It can't be fixed. It's one of those fixes that will be about the same price that we paid for the car. <laughs> You know, it's one of those. <laughs> the car was only a couple grand. So this solving this problem is, is about the same price as what we paid for the car. So we're just instead, we're just kind of dealing with it and, and looking into getting a, getting another car. New to Twitch, this is my first stream. <gasps> bam, 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 bam. Satanic Star, what's up? Welcome. <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're deciding to lurk, lurking is pogs. I don't think I said that correctly, but I am in my 30s, so. I'm in love with your icon. Did you make it? The the my profile picture on here? Um no, Danny our artist made it. Um but it's very good. <laughs> it's poggers. Lurking is poggers, guys. Congrats on the Twitch promotion. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. I've been pog lurking for years. Oh my God. Um, yeah. Uh, so again, because we've got like 11K people in here and I'm about to start wrapping up so that I can go spend my day with my family. Um, Thank you all so much for, for swinging by to see what the channel's all about. Uh, if you came from the YouTube community post, hi, it's probably been a really long time. Thanks for thanks for coming by to say hi. Uh, I basically start every stream with a couple hours of just drinking coffee and talking about life and stuff. And then um, I play a different game every day that I stream. So if you wanna see some some like big dick variety, uh, that's that's our vibe here currently. Um, but we, we just do a lot of chilling, a lot of just chilling and talking about stuff. Um, you know, Googling is live journal still alive <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. So yeah. Um, I hope that, uh, if you enjoyed yourself, that you'll hit the follow button and you'll come back sometime, come by and say hi. Our discord is also super chill. No more peglin then. I only play things once now. And it's been really nice, actually. It's actually been really great for me. <laughs> it's been great. I get to I get to see so many games. It's so fun. I love it. So yeah. Thank you for the sentence, big dick variety. You're welcome. I'm sure the I'm sure the front page really appreciated that. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You can't you can't get rid of me. <laughs> I'm leaving. Uh, yeah, I'm the number one Minesweeper streamer on Twitch, so there's also that. My accolades are, you know, just so long. I couldn't fit them all in 10 minutes. <laughs> Why? 
one out of one. Okay, look. <laughs> you don't have to say that. You don't have to say that. We could just say I'm the number one Minesweeper streamer on the platform, okay? You don't have to... You don't have to make it clear that literally no one else plays it. It defeats the purpose. <laughs> you can't fire me. I quit. You can't fire me from the front page. I quit the front page. <laughs> Good. Yep. I wanted to ask if you saw Hikaru play Minesweeper. I did not. I would love to watch more people play Minesweeper though. If ever, it, look, if ever there's a streamer who's like, I think I'm gonna play some Minesweeper today. Can you just, can you just ping me? Just be like, Dodger, get in here. <laughs> Quitting while on the front page, what a power move. Cracks knuckles. The good old days. Let's see some Minesweeper, please. I can't. You're gonna have to come back. Ooh, ooh. If you wanna see the good Minesweeper content, you're gonna have to come back. That's just the way it is. I, I have to go be a mama and hang out with my family. So you're gonna have to come back and watch some Minesweeper action. Now I'm hooked. That's what I like to hear. Okay, let's read off our activity feed and then I will peace out and send you off to somebody else. Actually, let's open up. Um, we don't have channel point rewards open. Classic. I'm a professional streamer, I swear. <laughs> I do this every day, I swear. We had one Valentine from today. Hexbread said peanut butter sourdough is the best breakfast. I've never heard of peanut butter sourdough, but I hate it. <laughs> but I don't like it and I reject it. Uh, we also have a raid leader already, wonderful. So we'll check that out once we're done reading off our activity feed. So, The Watcher, thank you for the 81 months. Crazy Murph for the 52. Lustus for the 29. Angel of Chaos again, welcome to the cat gang. Why does the activity feed keep resetting itself? I know I've said this before, but I need to use a different system for activity. Anyways, welcome to the cat gang and thank you. Dark Themsby, thank you for the 84. Avi for the gifted sub. Um, Freedom UK, again, thank you for the biddies. It's Jacuzzi, again, welcome to the cat gang. Thank you so much. Baker Staunch, thank you for the gifted subs. Uh, and Gimmelresh, thank you for the 80 months. This chair sucks, don't buy it. It's true. It's a terrible chair, but a very cute blankie on the chair that you can find at HomeSense slash TK Maxx slash TJ Maxx, maybe. It's a blankie. It's a good blankie. We got a couple minutes left, so let's do a cheers together and say bye-bye. If you have a drink, grab it. If you wanna just like fist bump the screen, that's fine. If you wanna look away because you're too cool, I don't know, whatever whatever you'd like to do. <laughs> whatever you'd like to do, it's fine. Raid leader is offline. Somebody already, somebody already got it 43 minutes ago. Sorry, maybe I, maybe I misspoke. Somebody had already gotten it. That's what I was talking about. Oh, that streamer is offline. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I can, yeah, I'll give the points back, but um, I can't reset it, I don't think. I don't think somebody can now grab it. I'll have to choose somebody, which is fine. Dark Shadow, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Welcome to the cat gang, everybody who has just gifted a sub. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hoo he ha o ba be ba oo oo. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Boo be ba oo ha oo ah. Oo oo. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Glass arrow, welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. 
Okay, cool. What's going on? Nothing. Ready to do a cheers? <laughs> Literally nothing. Grab your drinks. Um, thank you all so much for being here, for checking out the channel. If this was your first time here, welcome. I hope you come back for some high octane Minesweeper action or just for more sitting around with a coffee and talking about who knows what. Who knows? Every day is different. Every day is a new day. Um, if you're coming from YouTube and you haven't seen me in a really long time, uh, I'm delighted to have you here. Shout out again to the mods for, for thinking of putting out a, a community post on our YouTube and being like, hey, have you wondered what Dodger's been doing for a couple years? <laughs> She's on Twitch. Yeah. You're all lovely. If you're having a fantastic day, thank you for being here and spreading the joy. And if you're having a terrible day, I'm so glad that you were here. I hope that this is like a bright spot of the day. I hope that we reset something for you maybe, or just made you smile a couple times. All of that's worth it. Uh, I hope that I'll see each and every one of you again. If not, I'll see you when I see you, but I appreciate your time. Cheers, three, two, one. That's the last of that for me. I'm gonna send you to Lana Lux. Lana Lux is a game developer. Go say hi, spread love, spread joy. Uh, tomorrow I'm on a D and D show called God Forged on Joe Fudge's channel. But the next time that I do a normal stream will be on Monday and it'll be at this same time. So I hope I'll see you there. Uh, take care and hit follow, hit follow. If you didn't do it, 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 do it. And then we'll see you again and it'll be fun times. All right. Bye-bye.